Hello everyone! I'm gonna speak louder today and hopefully that makes uh, me seem more professional. Hooray! <laughs> um, today I will be building a wizard tower as suggested by the person on the screen. Sorry that I'm not... Actually, I've got your name right here. Um, I can't see it. This is terrible. I'm sorry, but there's a shout out. I wanted to see a wizard tower. First, I am making a little market path kind of thing. Marketplace? I don't know first leading up to it. Unfortunately, I did forget to start my recording. You saw that little jump. I gotta get better at doing that, but I'm building some crates, some market stalls, and a little a, a little statue holding a thing there. That, that should have been recorded. It didn't happen. Oh well. This is gonna be really painful for me, and I'm sure it's gonna be painful for you, so I'm sorry, but this one is like almost 10 minutes long, and I've gotta talk for 10 minutes. I don't have any cue cards, I'm just watching what's happening on the screen live. So, <laughs> my girlfriend really wanted to see a watermelon stand, so I'm building a watermelon stand. And it's a melon stand, so there it is, there's a the little melon stand. And here are two more little marketplace stalls. I'll probably do shorts, YouTube shorts, I don't know how YouTube shorts work. I gotta figure that out, but I might try doing those and then making these market stalls for little short videos. I don't know, but there's like a little jukebox looking one. You can actually sit in that one and there's like a little wagon that's got a set up thing. Oops, flying through one right now. They are Steve heads at the moment because I didn't bring any uh, like bread heads or whatever. So sorry about that. There's the whole thing. Now we're gonna start the little one chunk build for the wizard tower. A little one chunk marker sitting out in the back. That's the area I have to build. There is going to be, this will be the next episode, maybe, unless there's a better suggestion in the comments, but this is a little wall and there's gonna be a secret layer behind those gold doors. Uh, I have a little three by three opening. That'll be cool to build. I don't know how well that'll work for time lapse because redstone is not really the best for time lapse making, but here's a little wall that I'm building. Got some, got some detail on the wall. That's how you make walls. Um, yeah, I can already tell it's gonna be painful. We're not even a third of the way done. We got this. Um, maybe I should have figured out what to talk about before I started recording, but I wanted to get this video out in by eight my time, and it's currently seven my time, so. I'm recording this like an hour before you guys see it, so I gotta wing it. Oh well, <laughs> who could have who could tell that I'm winging it? But yeah, walls built, get some grass, and I'm gonna gonna build a tower now. Setting up the base, kind of cylindrical, not really, but it's it's good enough. So there there's the base, and we'll be building up after the thing. Here we go. Uh, I start off all in cobblestone. Obviously, you don't want to stay in cobblestone because that's just bland if you got the same thing. I will work with pallets later, but just for a base template. Working, working with one, as you can see, it's like little cylinders going up, decreasing in size, but it's a little variation as you're going up, and that's really how you make a tower look kind of nice instead of just very abrupt changes. You get uh, smooth transition changes in the middle. Ooh, that was a glitch. I don't know if you guys saw that, hopefully not. <laughs> As I'm watching, but... And then at the top of the wizard towers, I actually didn't know what was meant by a wizard tower before this, so I had to look up some reference images, but at the top, have it jut out a little bit more for like a final top room. And I actually, I didn't know what to do for interior either for wizard towers, because what's in a wizard tower? Because they look nice on the outside, but what's actually in them? Wizard? Is it a wizard house? Is it like a tower for them? Who knows? Maybe it's a jail cell. That's not what I built, but we'll get to the interior near the end. Here's little four like abrupt sticking out thingies on the outside, and then we'll have one bigger roof, like one of those wizard hat kind of things, because wizard tower, wizard hat should have the same shape as they go up. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> I just gotta wait for the pallet uh, part to come along so I can talk about that. That's interesting. Right now, what are we gonna do? Build a flag? That's not interesting, but here we go anyway. A nice little red waving flag in the wind. Non-existent Minecraft wind. It looks nice, but... Coming out, here's what we have so far. Nice base shape. 
and we'll get to palette soon. I wanted to change this to dark oak because it looked a bit better. So there we go. Now it's dark oak, wonderful. At the bottom of the base on the left, you can see the palette I chose, all the different gray blocks that you got like stone, cobblestone, gray wool, clay, all the, all the fun things. And then with World Edit, I, I made it so uh, different mixtures happen at different layers of the build. And you can see I'm trying to replace this right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Here's acacia coming up. Like, why did I make it acacia? Who knows? I'm just testing out the commands. And at the base, there's polished andesite. If you're if you're using this as like a kind of template to build, you have to be very careful with polished andesite because it's a nice looking block, but it stands out. So you can't use it too much. So I, I like using it for the base, but not much after that. And it kind of creeped up the base a bit. But so there we go. It's starting to take shape. Now we're going to get some lanterns hanging off because, you know, you got to see if it's at night. Might as well have the lanterns hanging off of the thing off of the main things so you get some light also the the shaders need some light too so there there's that got some little ones too and i decided to make some banners because banners look nice on these and apparently the what i came up with was a little globe being punched on a, by some orange teeth orange glow red background i mean it looks nice it's okay finally we got the interiors I will be working on this a bit more in the next episode because I'm going to have the hidden layer just come up into the bottom of the base because you know there's, there's no entrance into it right now, but I'll have it. So you enter through like a basement layer. That'll be fun. Get out of the way, blocks. <laughs> in the basement, I had like a little library type build. I did books and some beehives type things. Beehives don't really look. I, I used to play in 1.8, so I'm not really used to all the new blocks yet. So beehives to me just look like more storage units instead of actual beehives. So that's what I use them for. On the second layer, we got some brewing stands because wizards like potions, right? That's what wizards are. I don't know. I'm staring in my inventory right now trying to find a cauldron because I was too lazy to just type it in. There we go. And then finally we come up. This I could have place the camera a bit better probably look at that going right through the barrels ugly come on what's happening <laughs> and he's the final like mid level floor and that's just going to be ladders now camera's going backwards what is happening i should have done this better oh well but here's the here's the top layer there's i didn't really know what to put in here because they look out maybe they cast their wizard spells from here but i mean unless i get particle effects there's nothing really i can do from up here so i just put some blocks down trapdoors above and here's a final render it's we're all done now going through the marketplace nice little statue some crates containers for extra storage up close to the wall that door will open eventually but it does not right now because that's not what the today was for who would have it's almost like it was on the title whoa <laughs> and finally coming up full a uh, wizard tower right next to the house. There we go. And now, now the day is going to go by really fast. Oh, come on. You got this. Come on, day. You got this. Start moving. Eh, it's getting there. If you have any other suggestions for what I should build next, I think I'm just going to keep on building next to here. It doesn't really have to be one chunk anymore. This was, this was technically three today, but they're all in their little one chunk segments. I might turn this into a map to download. At the end of this, maybe make it a little PvP map with kits. That would be fun at the end. But in order for that to happen, I got to keep getting suggestions from you guys. So let me know what you would want to see next in the comments. I'll make sure to pick one out. And I guess that's a little shout out system now is if you got a good suggestion, you'll be in the thing. So thank you for suggesting a wizard tower. Here it is at the end. Again, you know, it's 10 more seconds. How many people are actually watching still? I know that electrified is. Hi there. Um, <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye.